So this is going to be part 13 of our complete application using Axon Framework, which is based on CQRS pattern. And today we are going to actually be working on uh, so this is where we are currently for now when we click on this button see what happens it goes exactly to this place but what we would like to do is for this button to display a modal pop-up so that when we click on ok it can now go to this url meanwhile remember that we've not actually done uh, written uh, this url the function for this url because we are saying that once this call is made, it goes, it should go to the controller and not to the to the rest controller. So have that in mind. It goes to the controller, and the controller file you already know uh, is this file that returns the home page, which is this controller file. And this is going to actually make a call to the rest controller. So keep that in mind. So let me just make this a bit concise because we are going to write one more function here. Uh, and that is going to be okay so if you are joining for the first time please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any update all right so let's do it now um, let's go go back to the home page so this is where we are uh, so this is where we are oh, sorry uh, let's see okay so I need a, a pop-up to be executed when I click on this button so if I go to Let's go to Bootstrap and look for a modal pop-up. So I'm going to say uh, Bootstrap modal. All right, so let's get Bootstrap modal and that will help us. Now, if I scroll down, I should be able to see something uh, like a confirm button, uh, a confirm pop-up. Let's see, let me just scroll up, I think. Uh, Okay, we need something like this. We need something like this. So I'm simply going to copy this and uh, I'm going to copy it to our HTML page. So I'm going to go to our HTML page and I'm going to go just down. Uh, I'm going to paste it just before the last body tag. I'm going to paste it there and you see that the name is uh, classes model um, role is dialog. Let's go back to place okay I think everything should be fine let's try this uh, okay so no no problem that is fine so let's let's go back to let's check this So we want such that when this button is clicked, uh, the button uh, in the page, this uh, button, when, when we click on this button here, is going to display that modal pop-up. So if I go back to this button, uh, if you if you look at the name of the model, we are going to just change it to to the name of this model is going to be uh, let's see. Um, let's get back to this place and see if we can get everything correctly so you need to specify the 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 so let's let's just copy the data target and the data the data target and the and the data and the data toggle so if i copy these two and use them in the button so if i use it in the button in the table here uh so okay so i'm going to just put it here so i'm applying it to the anchor tag so in this case i'm going to use just to be um, the data target refers to the modal pop-up you want to display so i'm going to the name is order model so at this point when i click on this button it should be able to display this modal uh, box so let me just save everything and let's relaunch this application so let me stop it and then re relaunch it oh no we need to give the id to the model so the name the id is going to be id 
No, let's see, seconds. So ID is equal to other other model. Okay, other model is an ID, and yeah, so that is what we have here as data target. So I'm going to actually stop and uh, save everything, and I'm going to relaunch it at this point. Right. Alright, so if I go back to the page uh, and let's refresh the page and let's uh, see that everything should be working. So I'm going to just refresh this page at this point. So if I click on this button, you can see that the pop up displays and that is fine. I'm going to close it back. Okay. So, uh, so the next thing we want to do is when this pop up displays, uh, we actually want to capture the ID because if you take a look at the status bar at this point you can see that it shows the the link uh, to the endpoint that we need to uh, we need to, to to send the request to but now we don't want the the we don't want we don't really want the the, the model pop-up to display uh, just like this we want to display this model pop-up using uh, JavaScript Okay, so I'd like to reserve that for the next uh, uh, the next part. But before I do that, I'm going to just add a confirm uh, a confirm mes a confirmation message. Say, are you are you sure you want to uh, place this order? Are you sure you want to place this order? I'm gonna say yes. Uh, place order. Uh, then close, maybe no, no, all right. And the model title here, let's make it um, confirm uh, order, all right? Confirm order, uh, okay, and that is fine. Okay, let's try to just uh, to let me just show you one thing you can do now. If you open this model, it comes like it's fading, it's like fading in and out. Uh, so in that case, we can uh, use class is equal to model fade in the model. So if I go back to my uh, here to to the model, uh, class is equal to model fade. All right. So model fade is it one word uh, model fade, and that is fine. So let's just quickly test that one before we move on to the next part. So I'm going to save all, and then I'm going to restart this application, stop and rerun. And this will be okay. So the next part we are going to now actually use a JavaScript uh, a JavaScript code to load this model and I'll be able to capture the the ID and the price of the of the particular row on the table that was clicked. For now, let's just make sure uh, the model works as uh, as we expected. 
while I, I wait for this, I am just going to name this button, this button, I'm going to give it an ID uh, of other, other ref, other ref, other ref, okay. Right, so... Right, so let's go to let's go back to the page and let's go back to the page. I'm gonna refresh it just to be able to test the that is fading is fading in, so you can see it fades in and fades out as well. All right, so I'd like to stop here. In the next part, we now write a, a JavaScript code and then we continue from there. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe to my channel if, if you've not subscribed, and we'll see you in the next part.